Well, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening to the KOR universe. We are uh, happy to have uh, our Supremo's last uh, interview in this program uh, after uh, the election that was held two days ago. So, sir, uh, would you like to say your salutations, sir? Welcome again to our uh, our musings of the Knights of Rizal. Yes, uh, good evening to all listeners of the uh, our program, Musing with the Knights of uh, Rizal. And uh, of course, uh, this is uh, my valedictory uh, sharing of what I've done for the last uh, one and a half years. After that six months, I was interviewed by Sir Alvin Galena. So, good afternoon, good day, good evening. Uh, sir, if you can go back, sir, what would be the uh, most cherished memory, sir? If you will have uh, one or if you can share one or two cherished memories as a supremo in the uh, Knights of Rizal. Well, the transition time and the accountability that uh, the Supreme Council decided to file the case against our uh, employee. And at the end of the day, uh, those with us, the we call that uh, develop a minority, they are no finger pointing on the majority of that issues. We agreed to file a case so that we can find what is the real score on the matters regarding the financial statement. But that is only an internal issue. Very cherished, very challenging, because uh, uh, instead of uh, this uh, minority work with us and all that issues they are uh, looking at, will be a team effort rather than a grand standing in my own uh, belief, sir. So these are the cherished moments on the aspect of the internal, while on the aspect of the other one, we travel all regions of the Knights of Rizal, touch down, and uh, we saw all the strength, weaknesses, and opportunities of how our organization will move on and develop this international connectivity. And uh, of course, uh, finding all that weaknesses that possible a, a opportunity for the order, sir. Sir, uh, thank you, sir. You mentioned about the internal and the external, uh, specifically your uh... Uh, your trips uh, to uh, the chapters around the, the world, really. Uh, sir, did, you were able to uh, uh, function uh, even though you had a uh, uh, divided uh, Supreme Council. Uh, I wanted to ask you, sir, uh, because you were successful uh, against all odds, as they say, uh, where did you get your inspiration, sir, to to move on? Because other leaders would have maybe folded or would have uh, not be as uh, as uh, active uh, with the uh, with with the with the leadership. Well, from the very beginning, I sensed that uh, some of the members of the trustees are not interested in the advocacy of promoting. The purpose, the very purpose of what and why we are here in the order. So it's very clear that it's so easy to move on because our mandate says advocate, promote Republic Act 646 about the works and teachings of our national hero. Now, if we will uh, not move on that uh, line, so what is the purpose of why we are here and the expectation of our membership? is uh, from pandemia. We need to uh, produce more and more output that uh, we are affected by the uh, pandemic time. So mine is, it's a very old organization, but when, when I uh, 
review that we have only 300 chapters in the uh, list of our uh, uh, membership. So what, what we need to do is to move forward and find possible uh, solution of all these uh, negatives I uh, we heard from the uh, previous uh, uh, leadership, finding those weaknesses and find a solution. So the solution it creates uh, inspired me to travel, even though the organization is not funded. My uh, my uh, trip it is uh, inspired me because. Uh, I want to see how many in a real score the moving um, uh, organization chapters membership around the world. And at the end of the day, sir, all the things that I heard, those members uh, doing their role, but they are not uh, registered to the uh, IHU, their movement, is some of the challenging uh, inspiration that make these people, uh, we motivate these people like this, just like in Vancouver, Canada, just like in some area. In, of course, I've been to Hong Kong, the uh, uh, Asia region. A lot of areas uh, that uh, I heard negative transform into negative and resulting in a positive aspect that I might share to the incoming to sustain it, that we have now active mem chapters uh, uh, outside the Philippines, plus additional region. You know, when I started, it's only 14, now we have 20. And uh, it, it uh, given its stamina to recruit more and more, not only regional chapters, but membership so that many of us in a voluntary way will uh, do that propagation of the teachings of the Knights of Rizal's purpose that advocating Rizalism, sir.